Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heal vs Babyface on the PTR for patch 6.2. Now yesterday I brought you a video of the opening storyline to Tanan Jungle, the invasion of Tanan, which was as far from an invasion as you could possibly get. Very underwhelming, very boring. So now we actually have the next part of the Garrison storyline available on the PTR. This stopped at the end of, well, you could complete it in the end of 6.0. Nothing was added in 6.1, so we're going to have this huge four or five month gap uh, between contents before the next part comes out. So if you can remember what went on, kudos. If you can't, I don't think it's a particular storyline that weaves together, but never mind. So, what we're going to try and do in this Garrison campaign is meet up with an old friend first, and then we're going to try and figure out the secret of Kilrog's Eye, and uh, whether or not he is indeed peeping in in those girls' showers, which we all... I mean, I, I only saw him there the one time. Well, I was looking in the shower room at... Uh, the, it doesn't matter how he, he's a peeping Tom. Right, uh, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> we can't seem to throw a cat in this game anymore without it landing in an area that is just another Apex's crystal zone. And yes, lo and behold, the first part uh, of this quest line is to move into an area which automatically triggers... An ob a bonus objective, you know, complete the hundred things and we'll give you some Apexis crystal day, uh, Apexis crystals and we'll give you some oil that you can stick in your choo-choo ships, which you can't ride, but you can click followers to go and do stuff for you. Uh, so this is another one of those occasions. I don't think you have to do it. Um, I think you can just stick to the main objective, which is to uh, recover the plans or the treasure map or whatnot from these dudes here. Uh, and when you've got enough, I believe that you can leave. But obviously, once you're here and you're killing them, you're automatically filling up the bar. So I think the hope uh, from Blizz is, oh, well, you're here. You might as well finish it off. And it worked. It worked because uh, I decided to stay and finish it off. There was plenty of things for me to kind of like pick up or trap or kill or whatnot for me to, to get to the 100 in not too long a time. Although it wouldn't let me interact with this uh, demolisher, which could have been really cool. That would have been cool if I could get onto the demolisher and just go and I'm running over them, and then it'll all be done in two minutes, and it'll just be this whole massive, dead, bleeding, hollow um, orcs. Which, let's face it, is how I view every orc I see in this game every more, uh, anymore. It's kind of like pandas. I just want them all dead. If I see another orc, it will be too soon in my lifetime. Uh, so once you <laughs> manage to accrue the eight treasure maps or blah, 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 hunting logs or blah, 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 uh, we go off and we meet this old friend that I was talking about. Yeah, spoiler alert, Ariok is still alive. I was pretty sure this guy was done for. Um, the last time that we saw him was the beginning campaign in Tanan Jungle when we first entered the Dark Portal. God damn it, placeholder treasure. And uh, when he did his Leroy Jenkins moment where he took the Kool-Aid, he took the uh, steroids and then decided to charge off after Kilrog, you, you pretty much thought, well, he's dead, isn't he? Uh, but no, he survived and decided, a bit like Tarzan, to live in the jungle as a beast of a man. Now, I rather enjoyed this next bit. I totally missed it because I was too busy keeping my eye line on Ariok, where he was going. But the next area is completely full of traps. There's all these traps everywhere, so you have to negotiate your way past these traps without activating them, which I did just then. I, I liked it. I liked it. I, I, I genuinely like when MMORPGs, any MMORPGs, put platforming elements into the game. I think that's why Guild Wars 2 works so well, is Guild Wars 2 has a phenomenal amount of exploration come platforming, and it does it does the game uh, a, a great service. So once we get here, we get to this hole in the ground. You might have seen this in some videos. There's a hole in the ground. And down here, we're going to try and find uh, Kilrog's Eye. Now... Um, I don't know whether that's a euphemism or not. <laughs> and if I get down to the bottom of this pit and Kilrog is just there, bent over, 
ass cheeks open wide. Maybe, maybe himself holding them open in such a position. <laughs> so here's Kilrog's eye. I am going to be slightly perturbed. I'm sure there is a portion of my audience that would love that. Uh, but I myself am going to be slightly perturbed. Hopefully it's his literal eye. The one that goes wandering around the place. And from time to time, I actually summon myself to go looking around certain areas. Hopefully when the areas are glitched and it can fly everywhere where we can't and I get to see some good stuff. Now it's a rather cramped area, I must confess. And Ariok is a bit of a big dude, you know. One once he stopped, he started taking those steroids, he never stopped. And uh, he does get in the way of the camera when you start going down those small corridors. Um, so yeah, you have to angle your camera a fair bit. Yeah, you can see that. Yes, they drop iron horde scraps in case you're still uh, ferreting around for transmogrification gear in your dwarven bunker. Or your war mill, if you, of course, are hordies. And then, uh, once you fight your way down, here we go. And we, we meet up with some, some orky ghosts. Uh, some very nice orky ghosts. And they're only nice because they don't kill us. And then they send us off into a room saying, Hey, look, there's lots of eyes in that room. There's fake eyes. There's real eyes. Uh, you decide and find sift through the eyes and try to find Kilrog's... Uh, I swear to God, this is a euphemism. But... <laughs> And the whole thing is just actually the whole thing is just one metaphor for Kilrog's wink wink eye. Uh, but we've got to go in there. We've got to find the real Kilrog's eye. Now you know this saying: you got to kiss a lot of frogs before you find your prince. This is one of those occasions. You can see there are eyes everywhere in this room. They're all around the pillars. They're all around the sides of the wall. Um, and every time you get a wrong eye. <laughs> I still can't get that euphemism out of my brain. But every time you get a wrong eye, it spawns a, a nasty. And they come in and they try and hurt you. Um, all I could think of then was, do you really want to hurt me by Culture Club? And yes, they do. So uh, if you have your garrison button, depending on which one you've got, you know, by all means, get some airstrikes in or call of arms, whichever one they're going to give us. It was a shame. I will say this. It's a shame that when we got Lion's Watch or... Volmar, uh, that we didn't get any new abilities for the garrison. They just gave us old abilities which we've already got. But, look, it doesn't take that long to get Kilrog's eye, does it? And when you've done that, you can just uh, leave all this business, leave Ariok to, to finish off here, and you run to the next room and start to complete the ritual. Now, you're going to have some patience here. Hopefully, they'll tighten this up. But this room is a wee bit confusing. You drop the eye into the lava or whatever it is uh you get this nice little glowing effect all the areas sort of like fill up um and then nothing happens for ages and i thought it was bugged i nearly uh, decided to abandon the quest line and start it again from scratch because i just stood here you can see now i'm sort of like uh what's going on and then the lights went off and i was sort of like oh no everything's bugged everything's stopped and then after a, what felt like an eternity, I'm sure it's only a few seconds, but kind of just looking at the clock here, we're, we're looking around at, there you go, looking to abandon the quest, thinking, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? And then the eye popped through, but it's good 30 seconds or more, maybe even 40 seconds by time the eye appears, which is now. And that is quite a long period of time just stood there doing nothing. You just stop everything right now for 40 seconds. And yeah, it appears to be quite an amount of time. So please cut down that. Cut down that time between the dropping of the eye and the eye spawning. Or at least have something, some sort of voiceover or something that, that we know that events are, are still going on. And that is pretty much it. When you try and hand it into Ariok, um, he doesn't give you your quest rewards. <laughs> So now we should get a quest then. He should be giving us a quest to go back to Yirul or to go back to whoever does it for the Hordies uh, and hand it in and then you would have got that um, that map or whatever it was that you saw as a reward that would have started a, another quest. Uh, but he doesn't do that. So this, the ending to this campaign is a, a wee bit bugged. It'd be interesting to see next reset on the PTR if it does give me another one to do um what did i think of it i thought it was okay i've heard a few people be quite critical of this saying it's too short and, and this and that um but i thought it was okay for me this type of content is very important in the world of warcraft i think that storyline at maximum level is very very important indeed so i was actually quite excited with the 
garrison campaign announcement. I would have definitely have wanted it to continue through 6.1. In, in my point of view, this 6.1 garrison campaign could have set up Kilrog. Because even though they've put this in now, um, raiders are still going to be in Hellfire Citadel and Kilrog's going to be dead. Because I think he's only like the second boss up or something daft like that. Maybe fourth or... You know, he's, he's, he's early doors. Put it that way. He's early doors uh, in the raid. So this sort of garrison campaign storyline will feel a little bit mute. Which is, the, that's the only kind of criticism I have. To, you know, to kind of push that thing about Kilrog, because most people would have, uh, raiders would have just done him already. Um, other than that, yeah, very important indeed, a garrison campaign. Should have continued in 6.1, they didn't. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more just in substance. That's not a criticism of, of what they've done, because I've quite enjoyed what they've done. I've liked the environment, I've liked the area. Uh, I like that Ariok made an appearance again and all kind of gubbins. Uh, but I think we need more options of storyline to do. And then, of course, you can always use Aviana's Feather to zap you back uh, to base once you finish. So all in all, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Unfortunately, though, I think the storyline is just redundant if you're a raider um, or raiding. LFR, of course, won't be open by then. So LFRs wouldn't have kill, uh, killed Kilrog. So it'll mean a little bit more to them. But yeah, for, for anyone that is involved in normal raiding, heroic raiding, mythic raiding, this is going to be redundant. Uh, but let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel. Isn't Aviana's Feather awesome? Uh, also, follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Those links are in the description down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.